Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. My name is Daisy. Creality sent me the new Falcon 2 22 watts laser engraver machine and I'm very excited to show you how easy it is to assemble and set it up. Also, I'm going to show you how to create the first projects. The Creality's Falcon 2 22 watts laser engraver machine is powerful, fast and super safe to use. It has lens, air, and flame monitoring. Also has an emergency stop button and security lock. It has an integrated air assist for a cleaner cutting and engraving. It is super easy to assemble since the frame comes already pre-assembled. With this machine, you're going to be able to engrave wood, stainless steel, acrylic, metal, plywood, and craft paper and is so powerful that it can cut 15 millimeters wood with one pass. Another advantage of this machine is that you can work offline to create your projects. In a moment I'm going to show you what I'm talking about but now let me show you what comes in the box. I'm going to link the machine and the supplies used in this tutorial in the video description down below. I'm going to start assembling the machine, but before I would like to invite you to please support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and by pressing the notification bell. I'm going to start by installing the razor stands. There are three holes at each of the four corners of the machine to suit different size of workbenches. I'm going to install mines in the center holes. Now I'm going to connect the air pump to the machine. And we're almost done. Now we're going to install the laser model. Now let's plug the machine to the power and the USB cable to the computer. Now I'm going to connect the machine to the software. We can use two softwares with this machine, Laser Garble or Light Burn. I'm going to be using Light Burn. Insert the TF card and card reader to the computer. Save the files to your computer. Open Light Burn. Click on Devices, Import, open the TF Card folder and click on number 4, Softwares, click on Lightburn, select your language, select the file and open it. Select it and click OK. Go to Edit, click Settings, and here you're going to select either millimeters or inches. I'm going to select inches. Click OK. Go to Edit again. Click on Device Settings. 
and here you're going to select enable laser fire button then click ok now I'm going to show you how to insert an image to create the first project I will use one of the sample images that come in the TF card go to file click on import and select sample files since this is the 22 watts machine select 22 watts now click on the one that says cut select the image and open it I will cut this design in one of the two millimeters with pieces that came in the box the design measures 5 inches. I think it's perfect to be cut in the 6 by 6 inches basswood pieces. But if you wish to resize it, you can resize it using the little squares around the image. Also, you can change the measurements on the size bar above. Go to the layers bar on the right. And here we're going to change the parameters for this cut. Select line for cut and fill for engraving. In this case, that is going to be a cut. I'm going to select line. And here, make sure you check air. And here, we're going to set the speed and the power. 700 speed and 100 power. Now, place the material on the working area. Then, we're going to adjust the level of the laser module. Now we're going to click on frame so we can align and adjust the material on the working area. It's framing the area where it's going to be cutting. Now come back to the computer and click on start. And here is the first cut. It did a great job because this is a very intricate image. Now I'm going to move to the second project. I'm going to engrave and cut this design on a 3 mm bass wood. I already have the design on the canvas. This design has two layers. The black one is going to be the engraving and the pink one is going to be the cut. So I'm going to select each layer to change the parameters. I'm going to select the black layer first and I'm going to change it to fill. That one is going to be the engraving and the pink one is going to be a cut. So I'm going to select line. Now I'm going to select the speed and the power. For the engraving, the speed is going to be 6,000 and the power 30% and one pass. And the cut is going to be 600 speed and 100 power. Now, when you're doing both, engraving and cut make sure you put the engraving layer on top now let's go to the machine and place the material on the working area then we're going to click on frame to align the material
if the material is well aligned, click on Start. If you would like to use any of the designs that I'm using in this tutorial, I invite you to download them from my blog daisymultifacetica.com I'm going to link it in the video description below. These designs are completely free for my viewers. And here we have the second project. As you can see, I already started creating Valentine's Day craft. This one is beautiful. Remember, if you would like to use this design, download it from my blog. It's free. Look how beautiful. Like this, you can create a variety of personalized items. Now let's see how I cut 5 mm basswood. It did a very clean cut. It cut at 400 speed, 100 power, and only one pass. Very clean cut. And after this test, I decided to make another Valentine's Day gift. If you would like to use this free design, remember to visit my blog. Look, it's gorgeous. And here we have the first three projects. Now I'm going to cut 13 millimeters wood. Let's see how it cuts. It did a very clean cut and only one pass. The parameters are on the screen. Like I mentioned at the beginning, this machine is very powerful. Now I will show you how to engrave and cut on acrylic. I will perform this cut using the offline feature to show you how it works. And this is the design that I'm going to be using. This design has two layers also. The black one is going to be the engraving and the orange is going to be the cut. First, we're going to set the engraving and cutting parameters. After setting the engraving and cutting parameters, go to File. Click on Save G-Code, open the TF card, name your file, then type that G-Code and save it. After saving, remove the TF card from the reader and insert it to the machine. Remove the sticker from one side of the acrylic and place it on the working area. Next, push on frame to align the material. After aligning the material, click on Start. And done, it did a great cut and engraving. And we did it offline. I'm going to remove the sticker on the back. Remember, if you would like to use these designs, I invite you to visit me on my blog and you can download them for free. I'm going to link them in the video description below. These are only a few examples of all the beautiful craft that you can create with Creality's Falcon 222 watts laser engraver machine. If you would like to know more about this machine, I invite you to visit their website. I'm going to link them in the video description below. Also, for more cutting and engraving parameters, visit their website. 
I hope you have enjoyed the review and tutorial of the new Creality's Falcon 2 22 watts laser engraver machine. And please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and by pressing the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.